Hi everyone, Pastor Joe. This is a, a depressing time of year for me, and, and I understand for, for some of you holidays can be that way when you're going through, uh, you know, if everybody else is up and, and you're dealing with uh, grief or maybe you're dealing with something from a divorce or something. Mine's a little less uh, that way. Mine's the end of baseball season. That always kind of puts me into a depression. But here's what I always know. I know spring training is common. And so whatever you're going through right now, the whole point of the, of the Word of God is that you'll get through this. And regardless of what difficulties you may face, you will get through it. But the real, the real way to turn things around is by investing in other people. And, and, and there's really, there's nothing else like it, whether you're filling a shoebox, and that shoebox is going to end up in some child's hands somewhere in the world, who knows where. And not only is that child going to have Christmas, but they're going to end up uh, hearing about Jesus because it's all distributed through local churches. So can you imagine, you do, you do six shoeboxes, and they open up those shoeboxes, maybe 10, 12, 14 kids end up getting things out of that shoebox. They hear about Jesus, and I don't know, three or four million years into eternity, we're sitting there and we're playing together with those kids that found Jesus because you filled up some shoeboxes. Is, is this not an awesome opportunity? Same thing is true when we, when we uh, give to the food pantry or just giving to the church in general, giving us opportunities to be able to reach out. Right now we have a team in Guatemala. We have a team getting ready to go to Fort Lauderdale. We, we're sending beans and rice. We're sending food. We're sending supplies to a Syrian and Syrian refugees. All of this happens because you've decided that in spite of some of the struggles in your own life, you want to connect with God knowing that that's going to help get you through. Uh, this weekend, we'll be in the 10th week in the story, and we'll be going through the life of King Saul, the first king of Israel. After the judges, people make another bad decision. This time, they say, we want to be like all the other nations, and we want a king. And God says, no, you don't want a king. You don't want somebody to rule over you. You really don't want all these taxes, but nonetheless, they persevere, and they end up with a man named Saul. And so this week, you're going to hear the story of Saul and his son, Jonathan. Don't miss that. You'll be blessed for being here. Thanks for all that you do, and it's an honor to be your pastor.